to come to London Cause I couldn't find a job But I don't intend to stay long If I make a few quick buck It's cold up there in summer It's like sitting inside a fridge But I wish I was on the case side Looking at the old town bridge I'm coming home, Newcastle I might as well have been in jail I'd walk the streets all day I'll need for a bottle of your own brown hill I'm coming home, Newcastle If you never win the club again I'll brave the dark at St. James's Park If the Gallagher's end in the rain I'm coming home And I'm proud to be your Jody. Do love that sound, people. Look, look, welcome back again, John Sinclair TV, back again to do another content. And it's a Sunday afternoon. I hope everyone's having a fantastic weekend and having fun and having your Sunday dinner and your roast and your chickens, your pork and beef and whatever that sort of thing. I'm a little sandy out today, so I can't wait for that, people. So, guys, if you like what you see and uh, like your videos, then please hit the like button. Then also please hit the subscribe button as well. Do click on that as well. And if you like to donate super chats, then if just donate what you can. And if you like to become a member, it's 99p and it's a 99p and it's a one to month thing. So you know, be in the hat as well for a draw. I've got 44 members at the minute. Thank you so much indeed. And yeah, I mean, I'm going to talk about ASM um, in a second, but this afternoon I'm back to do a watch along at half past three. So the build up the fan cams as well and the team lineup as well. So I think the team needs to go be very interesting. Does John Joe Shelby get back in the team? We don't know. We shall see. So we see what happens on that one, people. So all range just gone closed, by the way. Um, right. So we're gonna talk about ASM. We're gonna also gonna talk about Roger Sanchez of Brighton. We're gonna talk about Dan John Mayer as well. Um, you spoke for Bournemouth under Eddie Howe, and Miggy's going to be involved as well. We'll come to him later on. So, big up to Alex. I'm sure he's going to be watching this as well and talking about um, the answers. No, the ASM isn't done in Newcastle and they haven't set a 50 million price back. Well, according to the Mail, right, Simon Johnson supported this and said that um, he could be on his way in the summer. Again, how do we believe the Mail Online, these people, unless your name is Craig Hope? Yeah, if Craig Hope wrote it, then it could be on borderline. But at the end of the day, in my opinion, ASM's not going anywhere, right? We're going to build better players around this guy. He loves Newcastle United, right? And I don't know why they reported this. It is an absolute joke. Rangers just got ahead, by the way, after three minutes. Unbelievable. Absolutely a joke. But that's another time. <laughs> but still, yeah, back on Alan, I mean, for me, right? I mean, he's a damn good player. And... Yeah, he's missed a lot of games, 16 games out of 58. And just had a, um, a DM on that one, by the way. But yes, he's been injured and he's not being picked. He's been sub. But listen, I love ASM. I think he's a damn good player on his day. And I'm not going to tap it on him yet at all whatsoever. So I'll go for the comments, by the way. Um, Alex will be watching it as well, I'm sure. And um, left him a DM, by the way, as well. And... Um, yeah, go to Andrew. I say he's given something to owners to think about for sure. Done. Maybe, but not definitely. Something to consider. There are other players out there that don't miss 30% of the games. He has missed 16 games out of 58. Would you believe that? Alan Ramsey scored, by the way. And um, not surprised. And you're also Scott's too thin for players to be missing large amounts of the season. And I say the same thing about Wilson. Maybe if he had a well-rounded squad, wouldn't be wouldn't be a, even be a defeat. I'm very excited to see how he comes back to today's game. I hope he finds an all cylinders. Big up to you, man. Yeah, listen, definitely, definitely take him and definitely, definitely um, play him as well. Yeah, so um, I want ASM to do it first to dear and I'm going to back this guy because he's a game changer, number one. Number two, he's he could do anything um, that no one else can do. He's unpredictable, right? But the only slight about Alan, he needs to change it up if you can because at times can be predictable but listen he's a damn good player and I'm not going to tap on it at all big up to Brad by the way hope you're okay my guy and um, he'll be having a good day and um, we got to be eating healthily from tomorrow lovely new can't down card thanks so much Andrew mate I mean I'll probably get wrong for that sort of thing and um, 
there's one one says, oh, it rains all of us at the minute. Oh my god. Big up to Matty D. Um, may it all be well. I've got the link on as well. So if you want to come on and click on that, have your see and talk about ASM, then we can talk about him, people. Definitely talk about him. Um yeah, big up to Matty OP UK Warriors for the game. Um, big up to FIFA 22, big up to you, mate. I'm great. And IEC said, don't think he's done the verse. I don't think he's done. I just think it's Lacey Johnson by the um Daily Mail yet again, right? And um could see man you taking a punt on him if it's available. They're in, they're in desperate need of his creativity. But Ian is um, there's no way I would say Alan to Man U. No way, he's not going to United. It's not going to happen. We will not sell him to another English club. So that's no chance. Big up to you, Tom. Big up to you, Keith. Tom, I'll give you a yellow card for that, pal. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter. I've got the price tag is on ASM. We can't sell our top bet. Oh, it's good. oh, my dear. It should have been 2 0. We can't sell our top players. This rebuilding is going to take time and we, can, and we can't sell our game with us until the build is complete. That's a fair shout. A big up to big up to Brad, by the way. All right, mate. You muted. You muted. Hello. That's better. Um, big up to you, Brad. Thanks for coming on. Um, friends can have to say if they want to have to say one on one basis. Um, how are you doing, mate? You okay? Yeah, I'm good at you. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just um, yeah. bloody sell to go behind, by the yeah, way. I've just Jesus. got the game on. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> not been a good start, has it? <laughs> Five minutes Jesus. in. Jeez, it should have been two down to be, to be honest, people. But um, it is what it is, man. But, um, and um, yeah, so what do you, I was going to say, W1, it is 1 1. Oh, my God. What a game. Right, then, listen, or less of that. Um, that's just made a good con con comment. Well. It doesn't matter, but the first tag on ASM, we can't sell our best players. The building's going to take a long time. We can't sell um, game winners until the rebuild's complete. He's right, isn't he? Exactly. Um, like I said a couple of weeks ago, um, we're obviously not in a position to be a selling club. So the only way ASM would actually be leaving the club is if you'd felt it would fallen out with you wanted to move elsewhere or he's fallen out with the management, which I don't think is going to be the case. So mm. no, I'm not sure where it came from, to be honest. But no, he'll, he'll I'm sure I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure he'll be with us next season and he'll he'll yeah, take so us forward and be, be part of the part of the uh, progress that we're gonna be having. Let's hope that's the case, man. That's something that's the case because um we need game changers. He could produce one thing, he could just produce a magic, one piece of magic yeah. to win us a game, right? Exactly. And he ain't got that. If he doesn't play, right? Who else is gonna produce the magic? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, I mean Andrew's made a good point. 16 games he's missed out of the last 58 games. And to me, that's that's a large, large chunk. Yeah. Edison Cavani has missed about 32 games. Mm. He's missed the whole of the season, two seasons. That's not good, but I think for me personally, it's Lacey Jenninson, number one. Number two, I think um, Eddie Howe's got to come out and say this today and just say, look, it's not true, right? He's happy here and we're going to build a team around him. He's got a long-term contract. What's going on? It's exactly. a joke. Yeah. yeah. The, ASM's, the ASM's only going to get better as well. Still at a young stage in his career, so if he can stay with us over the next two or three years, he's going to, the, the weak areas that he's got in his game, he'll understand them and Eddie's going to work with him and improve on them so he's just he, to, to become he's got the ability and that natural ability and skill to become that all-rounded player and he's finishing on just only only get better over time so obviously it's someone we've got to try and keep at the club because he's that game changer and if we lost out with someone like that we'd be um struggling to, to sort of directly replace him with somebody so i don't yeah. think um we don't need to sell him and obviously in no position to do so so can't see that happening Definitely not. Definitely not. I mean, there's two players. If, if the worst came to the worst, there's two names I could think of right away. That's Musa Diaby from um, Leverkusen and yeah. also Dwight McNeil from Burnley. I'd take yeah. either of those two players, mate. I really would, but I'd rather keep ASM. Yeah, definitely. And I'd like Diaby in the club, like, but um, yeah, not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't like to change him for ASM. But if we can, if we can do a deal for Diaby, stand alone and bring him in, then I think that would be brilliant. Yeah, man. Absolutely true, man. Absolutely true. And you know what it is, right? I mean, I mean, they, this has got to stop. All these clip this has got to stop right now because yeah. at the end of the day, yeah. right? I mean, they've got now better than a D. Why did they go to Arsenal and just say that Barcelona's after Gabo Martinelli? 
you yeah. know what I mean? Well, they're not going for him. They get down, no, they're going to get ripped yeah. apart. That, that's it. It's it's probably one of them things where if the club's going well, people just try and throw in some rumours and try and unsettle things and throw a spanner in the works and get people get people reacting and that sort of thing. So, yeah, that's that's the objective of it, isn't it? So, it just come out of the blue, especially on a match day, it's just a bit of a strange one. So, But, yeah, I suppose we're going to have to... It's something we're going to have to get used to because it'll only get worse the more successful we get. Absolutely. I tell you um, what, though, but I really need to win a trophy. Let's win a trophy, yeah. right? Let's win something. Yeah. Call of Armour, Dar, oh, good save, Joe Hart, <laughs> the soft side. Uh, the thing is, right, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I can't lie, right? I mean, you know, if we win a trophy, right, you know, we get in the top four, the Champions League, right, I think the press, the media are going to kick off. They're going to kick off big time, do you know what I mean? And they're not going to face us for this. I don't be surprised they'd even report about it, do you know what I mean? Because, the, I mean, I want to get in the top four. I want to win the league. I want to win a title, do you know what I mean? Within five seasons, do you know what I mean? It's just um, crazy, man. But I've got one here from Matty as well. I think the first time we should be get Will Smith to slap all these silly journalists who keep saying about our new managers, us and sell our best players. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. It could be our uh, agent for it, could be our chairman as well. <laughs> you know what I mean? He give him a good slap. Mansell, John, the media are making rubbish up. You get views and clicks. I don't think ASM will go anywhere. I'm with you, Mansell, all the way. There's also no shame in selling players if I had to boost the squad. You have to be honest. Have, um, have a few sellable assets. And I know Ginger's going to be a bit controversial, but sometimes he's a good guy. John, let's be honest. ASM was a big player in a shite club. Now, within the summer, Newcastle can buy two proper inverted wingers. Cars, that's wingers. We are not there. One goal apart from Saint. What's your take on that one, Brad? Yeah, I can see where he's, I can see where he's, where he's coming from because obviously we taking over the next uh, next couple of transfer windows, we're going to be looking to invest big and bring new players into the club, which obviously when ASM first signed, that wasn't the case. Hmm. But I think he's still, obviously still a good character who likes the club and he's going to work with Eddie and Eddie will obviously to have someone like that in his squad it, it's, it's great for him I imagine so he's going to want to keep him in keep him in his start if he's going to be someone who wants to be in his first 11 in the near future yeah. so if we can just I think the case will probably be the mindset will be just try and bring players in around him of the same sort of quality I think that's probably the better option rather than say he's at a certain level he doesn't we can bring other people in so go if you like I don't think it's that sort of that sort of angle I think certainly if we can bring equal players in around him. That just makes it even better. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's what we need. We need to improve the players. We need to build players, not yeah. wreck them as well. Unless he comes to Eddie and say, look, I want to wear sort of things because to yeah. improve my yeah. French to squad as well. So I'm happy to hear Sam. Big fan of him. I'm sure to um, Alex, to through Stato, will be checking up on Roger Sanchez. I'm going to come to him in a bit. Um, Ginger, Fierce, Murphy, Richie, they're not good enough. Take away passion. They're not doing the job, which is assist and goals. I mean, Murphy can go, Richie can go. Fierce, I keep 110%. And then you've got Tony yeah. the Red. Um, don't want to say is Max is the last person I sell to be fair. Absolutely, Tony. We call him Tony yeah. the Red, by the way. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, Macy's not going to be on on Tuesday because she's on holiday. But I've got a replacement coming on Tuesday night. But it'll be a later oh, time, half yeah. past. I think it'll be half past eight. Um, but I'm going to try and do um, the fans forum on Tuesday at seven o'clock. And then push yeah, that back to the show with Nikki on Wednesday. She's a big United fan, so she'll be taking um, Macy's place and she'll be happy to do that. Um, 50 mil is a lot of money, though. We'll be interested to know what is going on in the boardroom. Well, the thing is, so, Andrew, I cannot, in my opinion, I just cannot see him going anywhere. But, I mean, if, some players have a price, but at the end of the day, I mean, I will still not yeah. sell. We don't need to sell, though, Brad. Don't we don't need to sell, right? Well, well, no, we've got. Um, I think we've not got assets in terms of people who we can sell that we that we need to get rid of. We're not going to generate loads of money for them sort of players. So it's just a case, like we said the other day, just sort of get them out. If they can find a club for a low fee or a free transfer, just get them out of the contract and move them on. We're not paying. We're not paying. Some of them will be on a decent weekly wage. So obviously we get rid of that. It's just about refining the squad, getting rid of the ones that have got no future, unfortunately, mm-hmm. with the club anymore. And bring in the ones that and sort of get a, a squad where we're fighting for each individual position, fighting for places. Everyone sort of at, the, at a certain raise the bar in terms of quality and, and 
and I think that that's where that's where we're going to be heading. But in terms of actually getting players out of the club and making money to spend, I, I can't see how we're going to do that really because we haven't got them them type of players that we want to sell that are going to say people are going to come in and say, "Oh, we'll give you 15, 20 million for them." Because I just can't see that happening. Maybe Miggy, but it. maybe like not even fifty. I don't think we get fifteen for him. To be honest, I can't see anybody coming in paying that sort of money. A Spanish club maybe coming with a ten million, maybe something like that. But yeah, yeah. apart from that, who, who, who's what sort of fees are they going to raise? I can't see. Exactly. I mean, we paid twenty two million for the guy, and I just yeah. cannot see him get that money back. I can't no. lie. But I'm going to talk about Miggy in a bit um, because there's been um, news about him involving swap deal with Villarreal for Arnold down Juma. Eddie Howe is having a warm boom mouth, so I'll comment on one in a bit. And um, I'm going to go through Jinja's comments. As, and as for buying relegation teams, we need to buy off winning teams. Who knows how to play big games? So, so McNeil, no, so no, no, um, McNeil, no Diaby. They have an amazing season. We need strong minded players. Yeah, I think Dwight McNeil. I mean, if you give marks out of 10 for Dwight McNeil, how many marks out of 10 would you give the guy? Um, I think probably about a good, say, um, six potential, six or a seven, just because, say, he's got that ability, but in the Burnley side, he's, he's maybe not had that consistency yet and mm. the chance to show fully what he can do on a more consistent basis. But you can definitely see as a young player, he's got the ability there and he's going to, mm. you think, based on towards the end of the season, he's probably going to be looking yeah. for, a, for, a, for a move and... He's certainly someone who, again, a, a bit of a direct player, likes to run and make things happen. So I think he's got he's sort of a, a good character that, that would, obviously, someone like Eddie Howe would probably welcome welcome in, in yeah. the squad, I imagine. Absolutely. I think um, mm -hmm. Eddie Howe would turn poor players into good players, by the yeah, way. But exactly. Dragon, yeah. Yeah. I think, for me, yeah. Dragon, if I was a Burnley fan, I mean, he's one of yeah. the better players at Burnley. I think he's their best player by a country oh. mile. I can't, yeah. I can't lie. I mean, Nick Poor, oh, yeah. goal to us, great. Um, so to win, eh? Oh, out for a corner. Yeah. Um, yeah. Somehow, you know, someone to compliment ASM on the opposite side of the field. I mean, yeah. Ryan Fiesa is just doing a fine job. I like yeah. Ryan Fiesa. But if you're going to get a better winger than to go the other side, then I have no problems at all whatsoever. But we need to have um, a fully good team. So that's Gary V there. And if he's, if he's saying hi to Gary, um, just think how good ASM is going to be with better players around him at the minute. Clubs aren't worried about our players over at ASM. That's why they doubled and triple marked the lad. And the first season, he was wonderful. He was wonderful, man. Um, right? Mm. But the second season, third season, right, parts of game, they know how to play him. They know exactly how to play him. Do you know what yeah. I mean? They, they they kind of sussed them out a bit. Do you know what I mean? But that's yeah. up to him to change it up. If you change it up, then he'd be absolutely fine. Mm. Exactly. And, yeah, um, we just need to find a way to change it up. Yeah. Andrew's got a point. ASM, since Howard's come in, no assists, again, not having a goal, just how it is. I mean, having wood, your striker screws that stats. What's your take on Andrew's comments? I mean, no, zero assistance. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, just, it's, a, it's a surprising one, isn't it? especially for someone who has so much influence on a game. Mm. And like you say, if you look back at the games we've had under, under, how, under how the chances that ASM will have created, we just haven't converted them. So, like, it's a good point to make that say them stats okay. are probably not a true reflection of what he's actually done in the games and created them because it, it's it's probably easy to think no assists he's not being provided much, but you know that, that that's been the opposite. It's just say uh, that the chances haven't really fell and yeah, man. But you can easy you can easy you can easy change. Say Chris Wood could put one in today. You just you never know, do you? You know you never know what's you never know what's going to happen on on the um within that ninety minutes. So yeah. Absolutely. That's all for a change. Yeah, that's so true. That's so true. But I think Chris Wood needs to perform on today yeah. when the squad yeah, is definitely. coming in. ASS can put those crosses in the deer and they've got to be taken because I don't feel that Spurs back feeling that good. Romero, quality. Emerson Royale, I mean, I tell you what, ASS run him the deer. I tell you something, he'll rip him a good one. But then yeah. again, right, it's away from home, but we see what happens. Um, what's the crack? What's the bleeding story, John? Everybody, yeah. that's just nobody's right guy. He's got some good people on the skis. Yes, he had Julian for AFTV. He had um, Kenny Ken, and he also had um, Jesus as well. Next one's going to be Lee Gunner. I can honestly see him getting Lee Gunner. If he yeah. does, <laughs> there's going to be a Stuart's inquiry as well. I want to know how he got him, man, because that's one guy I love to get. And I tell you what, everyone will still come. If I could get Lee Gunner on, that would be my ambition to get this guy on. I mean, he's an he's a, definitely an elite um, YouTuber. 
in my opinion. People like him. Some like him, some don't. Oh, by the way, he done a social, um, social Muppet show last week. Because I was going to do that, Brad, right? Um, a couple of weeks ago. And I was told not to do it. I shouldn't really do it, yeah. should I? <laughs> no, <laughs> just... yeah. <laughs> yeah. So tell us, listeners, tell us, do you think I should do the social media Muppet sort of thing? Name and shame. Do you think I should? <laughs> Leave it in the comments, people. And yeah. um, we move swiftly on, my guys. Um, we got to... And FIFA 22, need a new right ring after Frieza isn't doing it. That's his opinion. That's fair enough. Azem isn't going nowhere. I don't want him to go neither. And Ginger again, big up to him. If a player played 35 games, one assist and one goal, that's sellable form. But of course, it's Frieza. you got blinkers or we need proper inside hmm. force to keep us up the table, mate. See, past the near. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but I can see this point, can I see this point man? Yeah. What is this? Yeah. Then again, it's crosses against Brentford. I thought he had a good game. It's crosses at yeah. some point. And I, yeah. I quite like him. But he's got to do, if he's got to do more for this. Well, in terms of where we're at in the in the league, he's probably doing about that level. But say, if we want to elevate ourselves up the division and create a, create a bigger squad, obviously they're going to be asking them questions and, is Fraser going to be that type of person good enough to stay in the eleven? Probably not. Mm. So we're going to be improving, and that's naturally. Is he going to? Is he going to be still a squad player who can fight for a position and get his get get his chance? I'll I'll probably think so. Yeah, because he he is a good like you say he's a good player on his day, and he'll he'll run around co cover every blade of grass, and um, he's got a good he's got a good delivery on him. But say it's in terms of that, we haven't been. Mm. It's probably the same across the board. Say ASM in terms of assists as well, and a couple of other players. It's it, it's it's often. A struggle, especially the scoring scoring goals isn't easy. But yeah, I can I can I can definitely see the point. But I think as we naturally progress and go into the transfer window, it'll sort of look after yeah. itself. That one, we will we will bring in the higher higher quality players. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the thing is, so I like this, but it's so uncommon, and and it was better than Ryan. I I take it, I take it. But yeah. there you go. Let's, uh, yes, there's a lot of. Um, there's a lot of offense needs to wait up the squad. This why we would be fighting every season, though. So pride. I tell you what, it could be on. It could be on new Claude or Lee judges, mm. by the way. But like Judge, by the way, he's, I think he's a great guy. He took sense yeah. as well. Anthony to play for your side would be class. Now that's where I take. If we pay the money to Ajax and get this guy to Newcastle, mm. right? I have no yeah. problems at all. He would be an upgrade on Fraser. Oh, do you have? Oh, do you have? Yeah, exactly. All day long. All day long. All day long. All day long yeah. people. And um, that's good, good, good to all there. Um, Joe, I'll swap Miggy for the ex Bournemouth kid in spin. He's turned up in you. Now we're going to talk about that, right? I mean, according to the Sunday, the Sunday Express today, right? That, um, that to Dan Juma, Potten, yeah, yeah, Dan Juma putting a move yeah. for a former Bournemouth um, yeah. player, Dan Juma, yeah. and apparently he's having a good game and good season with mm -hmm. Villarreal. And they paid yeah. quite a bit of money for this guy. He's got yeah. a release clause of 63, wait for it, people, 63 million quid, right? And we rated Miggy at 15 million, right? But I don't know if they're going to be impressed because they, they're careful who they buy. I think I think they'll sell the lad, but they want to get 63 million quid. Mm. I yeah. would love to see this guy come to Newcastle. Yeah. Because Miggy... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, it'll be an option, won't it? Certainly, if, if that's the if that's a release clause, I imagine that's what they're going to be expecting someone to meet that price. And depending on what sort of options we're looking looking at, at in the summer, he could he could be one of the names that we go for. Never know. <coughs> Fair enough. And um, we have got um, um, Mr. Austin as well. I think he must be either Arsenal Spurs, as I could be wrong. Right? Do subscribe to my channel, by the way, Mr. Austin. It's good to have you on. He's basically saying to ASM, "Come to London." <laughs> <laughs> And I would like to see ASM playing that 10 role. Would you like to see ASM in the 10 role? I'll come on back to that, John Jim, in a bit. Would you like to see um, ASM in the 10 role? Um, I think, but I, th I think when he has played there, or certainly more central in the, in the, in the pitch, it's not been, as, not been as effective. But then again, that's probably been as a result of because he was playing there, it's because of injury struggles and we weren't playing in the best form at the time. So, but yeah, I think he's, I think he's, he's best. His best position is obviously out wide, run at defenders and um, mm -hmm. and create creating from creating from that sort of area, hundred percent. I think, I think, I think, yeah, I would say that that would. I think I'd prefer to see him out wide all day long. 
Paul and Baz, of course, is a legend, right? I'm going to call yeah. um, Alex the coolest guy in the chat, by the way. He's so cool. He's a cool dude. Mm. And um, he calls his dude as well. Um, big up to you, um, Alex, again. I've just seen the source in the Daily Mail. I wouldn't worry everyone. And yeah. once he speaks, we have to listen. And It's um, strange as well. That, it's strange as well. They've um, done it, the Daily Mail, loving a, um, a club like Spurs. They've, they've leaked that just on the morning of a game against them. So it's a bit of a strange timing, isn't it? Very, to try and, uh, very. To try and upset, upset the fan. Again, again. Go and set Martinelli. The Martinelli. Yeah. Or even the yeah. set um, song. Yeah. Or Bento Core. Well, bad timing. Again, yeah, yeah. Bad timing a game like this today. You can't come out and say things like that. Poor timing. Um, Ginger again. ASM says, it says four goals this season. Fears of one, says one. Goals and played more games. And Alex come back to him saying, Ryan Face has two goals and three assists. I think there's only one winner there. And on the Gabby Daily Mail, it's posting so much crap about Newcastle. I see new headline every day. We're there, the source, for the 50 million chance of budget in the summer. Mm-hmm. We have more than that. Oh, yeah. we are, man. Well, sick guy. I would love to um, see Anton on the right wing, but with Anthony ASM on the wings, would that leave our left back and right back exposed in defence? Matt is asking some great questions, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Potentially, yeah. We'd have to, something we'd have to look at, especially what you think would trippier and target. Occupying the fullback positions, if we can tie target down to a permanent deal, I think that gives us a, that level of solidarity. I think we'll be happy with that. But yeah, we'd, we'd have to ask a little bit more of our mm. wide wide midfield players in terms of uh, mm. defensive defensive work. But I think that's something we'll work on in, in the in the summer, and it'll definitely definitely be something to improve on. True. True. Agree. Um, 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 this one, I have 24 appearance this season. First, I've only started 16 matches, totaling 1,300 minutes. His output is reasonable, and I'd like to see him stay as a squad player, but not start the next season, meaning we yeah. need a new winger to replace him. Anthony would be that guy. It is unfortunate that the local NUFC media posts the story about how an adapting all black team is where everything mentally we all know that is how it is. Just not put it out after ASM story. He's he's got a point. He's got a point. Yeah. It's yeah, it's up it's up yeah, it's up men- yeah. It's up it's up mentality. Just people trying to upset it, the media trying to upset that, isn't it? The the the, yeah. the, the it's under the, the sort of scared that there's there's, there's, there's we're gonna be a threat as a club and the thing the thing that the, the spirit we've got in the side and what we're building is something to be feared, and it it's only gonna get worse, isn't it? <laughs> And you know what it is, right? I mean, we just have to black it out. I mean, Eddie Howe should yeah. come out to press after the match, yeah. whatever, and just say, look, ASM is not for sale, number one. Number two, stop putting false stories out as well. Just yeah. be the Alex Ferguson. Be the new English Alex Ferguson and come out and yeah. see that <clears throat> how it is. I love Eddie, <clears throat> but at the minute, in the press, I think it's doing fantastic. It really, really yeah. is. And two, if you start stop reading websites and scouting these players like real clubs do, fizz it as effort. But he's not better than Sint, and that's the point. We need better on the right to take the pressure off. Yeah, come back at that. First, is one of the only lads who leaves everything on the field. He runs his absolute socks off for this team. But I agree, going forward, Fizz will only be a squad player. Yep. And that's a shame so, because I like him. I quite like him. But we yep. definitely need his place as well. A is on the left hand side. We definitely need a right winger to, to take the pressure off Ryan. And if we take the pressure off Ryan, and to be that guy, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, and you just go wait and see. Um, I agree with that, Maxi Speller. But you said Fraser had one goal, one assist, which was wrong, lad. I love Anthony from Ajax. He's only on 18k a week, 18, 18,000 euros a week. We can make that 120k. Do you know what it is, Brad? We can compete. You know what it is? You're going to sell the yeah. project to the player and say, Look, yeah. come to Newcastle. Right? I know we're not going to, um, they want to be better than, uh, like uh, United and yeah. Chelsea it's, and yeah. City and Liverpool. And yeah. whatever, but you're going to get first team every single week, yeah. And yeah. if you perform right and you yeah. get us into Europe, like in the top four, and then a bigger club comes in for you, like a Real Madrid mm-hmm. or a Barca, we'll let you go. We we'll just say, you yeah. know what, you've yeah. done your bit, you got us in the top four, we're not going to stop anywhere yeah. because the guy's ambitious as well. So, but in the meantime, we've got to be ready. I can remember back in 2002, right? Hugo Fiana, right? Mm. He's been courted that every single top club in Europe. Yeah. Ace Milan wanted him for months and months and months. Juve wanted months and months and months. And then out of the blue, Newcastle um, agreed to terms of sport in Lisbon. And we was done in a day. Yeah, exactly. And what 
what I think as well is what we can offer is we've got that everyone can see what how, how the um, what what the team sort of solidarity is like in the spirit we've got people it it makes it appealing for young players to join that and be a part of it and yeah. like right. Eddie's Eddie's proved since he's been here that he can take that squad and he can improve players which is sometimes what we forget is we can bring a certain type of player and a character and we can mould mm-hmm. them and improve them into what 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 the, what like elevate the career to to where they want it to go. So we're giving them that platform. So I think it's yeah, not no. just like the na- someone like it was going to be like who we want now. We can bring somebody in with that potential, and if it's the right t- sort of character, and they're gonna they're gonna work for the team. Obviously, we're gonna gonna improve them, like and just make them. We we've made there's players in this team in this squad now. They're completely different, completely different individuals to what they were a year ago. So. Just shows you what can happen. Yeah, um, absolutely. I have to agree with you there, mate. Totally agree. Yeah. And you would take a huge summer. Um, thousand transfer trunk out. Watching Brazil he is ready to make the move. So I tell you, if you're going to get him now, get him in the summer, not after the World Cup, because his value would just go sky high. People, Newcastle yeah. realistically need an ASM or someone else. And on to Ginger now. Saturday, you're bang on. Most of the football stats are based off Football Manager every year. That game finds one of the kids before most people do, but I'll watch European kids to see who we can get. Like an um, Adiemi, a five star, so, he's a good player. So, if Dort- I think Dortmund or got him tapped up, over. absolutely, man, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, that's what I believe as well. Does he play for um Salzburg, by the way? Salz- um, yeah, the Red, he plays Red, Red Salzburg, Bull. man, Salzburg. yeah, I- Austria, <clears throat> Austria, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. winning the league every season there. And yeah, most managers yeah. these days look in. Good Clemens, by the way, Celtic, or is it? Um, most managers these days look players up on stats and YouTube videos. It's the world oh, we yeah. live in now. That is the thing. Good yeah, point, Lee. What it is, yeah. right? Me personally, get the real, real um, get the real um yeah. people yeah. to watch them, like you know, real scouts going at there, sort of thing. It's easy to look at it on um YouTube yeah. as well. Yeah, I can remember, right? I don't know who it was, right? But we looked at a player, right? He looks fantastic on YouTube, right? Yeah. Then when he played, it's just absolutely poor, absolutely yeah. poor. But yeah. just trust the scouts, but, by the way. But there'll, there'll oh. be some, there'll be, there'll be clubs will be using all sorts of software now that will be pulling stats from everywhere in, in across Europe and and that. And obviously, you want to you want to go and see players in 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 person, but it's that that that, that sort of stats now and the software is the groundwork that what all the clubs are using to try and identify potential targets and give them sort of short give them a short list of who to go for so yeah that's exactly I agree that's just, that's just the way the modern world is now yeah absolutely i think i read that one like murphy um i mean i'm fair so we need to um upgrade at least one of them asap if you had to push on next season you know what i'll get rid of murphy i'll get rid of miggy right fears i keep as a squad player guys if yeah. you like the video like what you see then please 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 hit the like button it does help the channel to grow and also please hit the subscribe button right and that would be even better if you'd like to super chat then you know what to do just click on the dollar sign andrew's done it countless of times and if you'd like to become a member then again andrew's a member and a few of us in the chat as well just click on the join button 99p that's all it is it's as simple as that do follow bpn ufc on brad's twitter account as well he is not on youtube and he's a great guy and on to um then tune and few again. <clears throat> Excuse me. I love Miggy, but if you can get close to 15 mil transfer fee and ship his wages, that will help our summer spending significantly. Then all it is, you are absolutely bang on again, Alex. I mean, everything he says turns to gold, in my opinion. Um, I take a million off a million and he's shocking. He ain't shocking, he works hard, but anyhow, just um don't think he's good enough. Yeah, we need we need more than a million for him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> take a million. Yeah, to get to get wow. <laughs> a million is like um <laughs> bombs in these days, isn't there? Yeah. And I love I love I love this guy. I really love Ginger, by the way. Um John, Eddie's not the next Ferguson, i.e. what Ferguson did at Aberdeen, how hasn't done yet. And John, remember Dreta football guest players in. Why didn't we sign Michael Edwards, the best DOF out there? What do you think? Um, I, I'm not sure. I, I imagine it's, it's somebody that the looks at, but I think the objective is to sort of see it through. And Dan Ashworth should join the club at some stage. 
But I think in terms of what, what Howe's done, it's going to be obviously a different journey to to, to Ferguson. But how how Howe's sort of prove what what he can do? With, say at Bournemouth, a long a long stint there as a player, then taking over as manager in tough times. What 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 you've done with them? I don't think he'll be. It's a mean feat. I, I don't think you'll probably see him match for a very long time. So, mm. so yeah, he's gonna. He's 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 how still you know he's still developing as a manager himself and. I yeah, think yeah. we'd all like to see we'd all we'd all like to see him stay with the club and have a, that mm-hmm. sort of an equally long stint with us as well and be like that sort of Ferguson level where you have a, like you know a 10, 20, 20 years at the club who, who knows. Well, yeah, he's that, he's that type. Is that is it? Is that type of character? He is. He is. And you know what it is, right? He's going to be an absolute winner. This guy, I really do think yeah. that because yeah. And all this talk about Roberto Mancini being linked to be the next Newcastle matches is absolute pie in the sky. You ever written that, according to La Cassetta or Korea, I think it's Korea, Dallas Sport based in Rome, that has come out. And listen, that is not going to happen anytime soon, people. It is not. I said with Botman, could be off to Milan, but then again, I could be wrong. We have to see. Oh, Celtic could be in there. Oh, Celtic could be in there. A softer line. Um, yeah, so... Um, We'll see what happens on that one. But anyhow, as our manager, until anything else is said as well. Um, big up to you, Keith, as well. And big up to your mate, Chris Wilder, too. Um, do you know my mate? Did you hear Paul Misson's comments about us yesterday? That man's a joke, by the way. My mate, Chris Wilder, had a good win yesterday. He sure did. <laughs> and, um, yeah, Paul Misson's comments. I didn't see that at all. Keith, if you're still alive, um, not, if you're still here, tell us what you said. What do you heard about that, Brad? No, I didn't actually. I, I think I, I vaguely remember seeing it. I think it was something about the. Um, I think if I remember rightly, it was something about the transfer budget we had for the summer. I think it's fifty, sixty million, and then he said that wouldn't get us out of the position we're in, or something like that. But yeah, someone will confirm in the comments, I'm sure. But it was something along them lines to say that we're not we're not going to even get in the top half with that sort of investment. But like we say, it's just nonsense. And it was that 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 story. Mm. I'll tell you what, though. I mean, he's just just yeah. about our tickle. And that's all he is, yeah. sort of thing. He bigs up Steve Boots, but he's not bigging up Eddie Hell that much. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He'd rather big up, he'd rather big up no. Flipper Norris City before this, let's be real. Yeah, the guy yeah. is an absolute muppet yeah. to the highest yeah. degree. He said, he said, yeah. um, he, said on, he said on Sky Sports yesterday, if Aston Villa had only won six or seven games with Drew, there would have been. <laughs> wow. Only. And then, and then um, Jeff Stelling got back and said, if only Norwich had won six games, they'd be, in, they'd be safe in mid-table. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, he's the thing yeah, is, he's right, nonsense. thing is, though, at the end of the day, right, we're not getting players at all whatsoever. I mean, not even no. on that um, talk sport at all whatsoever. There's a very few people like on talk sport, very few. And top of the shots is Lauren, <laughs> Lauren Woods. L- let's move on. Yeah. Um, John, Eddie's yeah. too, and Natalie Sawyer. Don't mind Natalie Sawyer as well. And Ed is too honest to a fault. Until it comes out, like you said, ASM stop for sale, the rumours will continue. Realistically, um, um, we know all players are for sale for a price, but he could shut it down. He could, like he did about the questions about Saudis as well. He can shut it down as well. He's done that really well. Um, Michael Edwards is Eddie Howe's best friend and free. He made Klopp's team the guy at Brighton has never been direct out of football. Wow, Michael Edwards is a new name, people. Hmm. That one is that the one from Liverpool? Oh, was he what was he? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's at Liverpool, he's left Liverpool, yeah. But I think, but yeah, I think the Dan Ashworth one, I think, although he's in different sort of roles, I think he's got he's gained the tools over his experience. And he'll, he's obviously from what, 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 what the club have done, assessing sort of different people for that role, they obviously feel like he's got the tools to be able to, to be able to deliver what they're after. Yeah. So yeah, I think I think he's a, he seems like seems like um, he says that he was in the England setup, then West Brom, then at mm-hmm. Brighton, of course. Yeah. So I think yeah, he's he's gonna he's certainly have the tools to deliver what the um, what the owners are after, and they've had they've had a lengthy yeah. search and been honest in um, in what they're looking for, and he obviously meets that criteria. So yeah, I think yeah. it's something it's something we've not had in a from a football an actual football brain. We've not had that for years, so. To actually have someone in there, it's only going to be a positive thing, isn't it? To work in, in, um, yeah, man. in conjunction with the owners and Eddie and everyone, sort of on the same page, talking and football knowledge, and we'll do what's best for the club. I'm hundred percent sure of that. Yeah, absolutely. 
totally agree, but they need to get that fixed up very, very soon. Just pay the money. If you want to get um, Dan Asher in the club, yeah. pay the money and just get him in there. That's what we need. But one thing for sure, we need him in before the summer. November will be way, way, way too late. And I agree we need to invest in buying a lot of hot prospects to boost the squad. But next season, the new loan rules will stop us having a loan army. I think we need the experience first. That's a fair shot, Matty D. Um, big up to you, Darren G. Hope you're okay, my guy. And um, thanks for coming on. And guys, I'm with a tune. Um, if you startle, I think we'd be lucky to get 15, 20 mil for the players to ship out the summer. Wages might be a problem, but those who still in contract and buying clubs may not pay what we are paying. The thing is, right, that really gets the goal going, right? Miggy must be on 50k a week, right? I could be wrong. 40, 50k a week, yeah? At least, he's yeah. going to be thinking, he's going to be thinking, well, yo, I'm happy, yeah? Okay, is that... Yeah. They say, yo, I'm happy here, sort of thing. Yeah. I'll sit I'll, I'll sit down for another season, 50k. No problems at all. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he yeah. should be playing football. The World Cup, well, he's not in the World Cup anyway, but in these games. Yeah. But let's let us let us be honest. Like it's like I said before, these some of the players who we're gonna get out in the summer, who's actually gonna be wanting to buy these players? Who's actually in, what the, there's nothing about them that thinking, oh as far from if they're gonna drop a league, but nobody sort of in Europe's top divisions are gonna be Chomping at the bit to try and get all these players. No, they're definitely not, especially yeah. with some of them under contract on pretty substantial wages. Are they going to want to match that? Probably not. So are they going to have to drop down? And if they're dropping down a division, same problem. Are they going to be able to match the wages or something? They're going to yeah. become sort of com- compromise. It's going to make them leave Newcastle's contract and join join a new club under potentially, well, most likely less money. So it's, it's a decision they're going to have to make. But if not, we could be stuck with them. You just don't know, obviously, unless we release release players. Yeah, I think it's ridiculous. I mean, all these players on big wages, right? Just can't be bothered. We could have another Jack Callback situation. We could have another um, yeah, Savir yeah. problem as well. Savir, yeah. These players yeah, yeah. are on 50, 60, 70 K a week. And then guess what? Yeah. Oh, that's a crunching tackle there. He should have been off for that. I'm sorry. That's a poor tackle. He should be off. Sorry. Um, imagine approaching a team. Would you like a Miron? Cool. How much assists and goals? They ain't going to tell you much, are they? <laughs> you know what I mean? But I uh, need to check out the stats for that, people. Um, yeah, that's where mm-hmm. Mindy Clark, Fernandez, and maybe Murphy from top 20 mil, but also fees up to 200k a week wages. That yeah, it's a lot wages, of things. Yeah. Is yeah. That, that is the thing, because those players, yeah. Kim and Clark, he's going to say, well, yo, I'm not going anywhere. I'm happy staying there. Do you know yeah. what I mean? He didn't, he, didn't, he didn't even want to go on loan, did he? Nah. If, if, reports, are, if reports are true, like, which is to, which is terrible, at least fair play to Jeff Hendrick. Respect to him, yeah. he got told he's not going to be part of the squad. So he said, "Do you want to go on loan?" There's a club a QPR yes. obviously interested, and he said, "Yes." Celtic. Yes. Celtic yeah. just go by the way, people. <laughs> yes, get in Celtic. Yeah, yeah. So, so I've easy. got respect. I've, I've got respect for Hendrik for doing that. Yeah, absolutely. Even though yeah. he's, even though he's yeah. poor, even though he's crap. Yeah. But apparently, yeah. I pointed to Annie the other day. You know, Annie, young Annie, Bristol City. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's a great guy, and he's a great lad. He's only 14, bless him. He said about Jeff Hendrick, and he said he was absolutely yeah. poor this season. Yeah. If we really get any conversation, said he watched a lot of championship games, he's the expert, yeah. then hey ho, then you get what you expect. I think we can wait for a drive to football. Look at what Eddie's done in Jan. A drive to football will definitely help in the future, bringing top hot yeah. prospects to boost the squad. Yep, that's yeah. fine. And <laughs> look at uh, Foster Agri, big up to my guy. <laughs> Here, John, ask, I ask a man, Chini, walk through the door if Eddie Bott's here, would you moan? <laughs> um, that's a question that's going to go to the viewers, yeah? Because what do you think, Brad? I, go on. Uh, I mean, yeah, if, if, if and when Eddie goes, it depends if Mancini's available. He'll probably his, his name's going to be in the ring, isn't it? So I don't think I don't think we'd be too upset, but I think I think we'd um, the fact that thinking about Eddie not being at the club, it's a, it's, it's not um, it's it's a sad thing to think about. So let, let's hope let's hope we're not in a terrible situation when that happens. Mm. I mean, big up to Danielle, by the way, people. Yeah. Honestly, she's up. The thing is, we don't want to talk about managers, man. We really, really don't. No, I have to exactly read it out what, there. Yeah. I have to pull it out it, it, there because yeah. um, so the you can hear, so you can have this yeah. here, right? But yeah. um, listen, anyhow, we'll not bottle it, yeah. right? Yeah, and exactly. I'll go, I'll go further as well, right? I mean, people's got to realise that Eddie Howe is our football manager, right? Yeah, and Jin just said, we're over the papers. I'll be, I'll be absolutely shot, for one, but I need to know why. 
But the one thing I'm going to say, I will back these owners, right, all the way, right? No question about that. It's the owners, they got to do what's correct for the club. But Eddie Howe is our manager. And it's as simple yeah. as that. Get behind Eddie. He's he's a, doing yeah. a good job, right? He's a great, he's a fantastic, for me, he's the best young, man, best young English manager for me, I'm telling you. Yeah. And I'm sorry, I can't lie. I'm not going to lie, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And he's not, I, he's I not, spoke to him. Go on. He's not, he's not just a manager with a one-dimensional sort of um, objective like like some do. You know, he's a he's a young manager motivating the players, building something at a club, being under the project. He's demonstrated yeah. he can do that in the past. So, yeah, to even think about him not being at the club is something I don't think we can really come to terms with. So, yeah, I don't want to think beyond that. I think, I think, he'll, I think he'll stick... He's not good. He's, he's certainly not going to let us down if things don't go yeah. well. It's maybe going to be out of his hands, but he'll, he'll give he'll give one hundred and ten percent for us, day in day out on that training pitch, all yeah. match days, everything everything that goes into it. You can guarantee that he'll be he'll give everything for the fans. So that's all we can ask for. And he's, he's, he's not going to be. He's not, <laughs> that's not, it's not going to make sure it's not going to be perfect every time, is it? Of course, but as long as we can we, we can um, we, we can see that passion that we've got, and then. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Just half time Rangers won Celtic two, and yeah. um, listen, I think Celtic's playing brilliantly. Um, since we've been a goal down, they had a response done yeah. well. Could have yeah, been two down in the first five, and <clears throat> absolutely fantastic. And I could see Miggy going somewhere in like Hetafe if I said it right, Hetafe and Rao Valicano. Yeah. Who plays for Valicano? Radamel Falcao plays them as well. Right. In playing mid table, defensively would suit Miggy. It get more time. I like seeing Miggy in Serie A. I think he'd do all right in Serie A. I really do. And um, let's put all this Eddie Howe into bed. Do you know what I mean? He's our manager. It's as simple as that's my opinion. But he is our manager for years to come. Do you know what? I'll rip out the contract and give him a four-year deal for what he's done. Eddie Howe's here for the next five years. Easy. That's a really big up um, to even start, I can name 13 players to sell this summer. And it needs and it news needs to leave. And I've got a big up to Thomas as well. I've run out of comments, by the way. Um, afternoon, John. Big up to you, Thomas. He's been with us from day number one. And um, he's a fantastic guy. He's funny. He speaks the truth as well. Big up to him. Lee says, name, <laughs> he said, name them. Yeah, name them. Then got Eddie Howe is here till 25th. Unless he messes up, he will not mess it up. He will not mess it up. Can you shout out my friend, Ben Dora? It's his birthday today. Big up to you, Ben. Happy birthday to you, my guy. Uh, get out, get out. I'm not gonna read that. If he does that again, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick him. I'm gonna I'm gonna like um put him tempe time out for five minutes and that. Eddie, um how we win major trophies in Newcastle. Remember my words. Do you think he will? I think he will, you know. Yeah. Oh well let's let, let, let's let's hope so. Let's hope so. Yeah. Um, if you sell 13 players, then that leaves a 15-man squad, not including Anderson or Matty. You have to sign 10 in the summer to hit the 25-man squad. Brutal. <laughs> Let's move on to Dan Ashworth versus Chief Exec. That's the money side of the club and youth. is not what we need. And honestly, these owners that know football... Oh, wow, that's a bit harsh there, Ginger. Wow. What should be our tag position in the league next season? For me, I'll see bad. Um, I think eighth, eighth would be a good target. Eighth and ninth, just break it, break it, break it in that top in. half. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'll see it. I Listen, think... end of the day, I mean, again, people are saying that um, Eddie Howe's going to be under pressure next season. Yeah, getting that money and the screw and F is going to be under him. That's a load of rubbish I've seen. Hundred million. It's now hundred millions to get two world class players these days. Yeah, maybe no, it's just the exactly. one. Exactly. Ed's it's going to it's gonna, it's gonna take a while. Absolutely. Can't clear everyone out in the summer. That's true. But if they don't want to leave the club and they want to sit, pick up their wages yeah. every single week and pick up their jump in a limousine, pick up 175k a week. Cool. Then we can't stop them. Um, 34 players. Hi, John, mate. I'm not watching the all for me. I am indeed, mate. Selton looking good. Um, <laughs> how did they not know football? That's on Lee. Ginger's getting it, isn't he? He's really getting it. She. Elliot Anderson will be around the first team next season or out to the championship on loan. Now, I spoke to a Bristol Rovers fan, right? Because I've been Bristol, as you know, right? And yeah. one of them came up to us, so you Newcastle fans that I am, and he grew us, um, he's a Bristol Rovers fan, and basically said that, that um, Elliot Anderson, what he's done, he's totally, totally changed the club. Yeah. 
He goes to yeah, it seems like yeah, exactly. He's um obviously let, 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 let's hope he gets a chance. Um then maybe maybe a run of games in pre season and then way up way up around before the season starts, whether he can any championship clubs available and suits him to go to or might be a chance of waiting at the club, you don't know. But you would think that the lo- the loan option is probably better for him to get a good run of games, hopefully championship level. Mm-hmm. I tell you what, though, there's one club you not be going to, and that's Bristol City. Sorry, Andy, yeah. he's not going to go there. Can you imagine yeah. going to Bristol City? <laughs> oh, my God. I tell you what, the Rovers fans will be absolutely f- furious, man. There you go. But I think you'd probably have another loan. Registered, we have unregistered and loaned out players. I think Eddie can go on to be here for years to come. If he keeps going, like, he is, he could be the next Sir Alex Ferguson. Yeah. about quiet, because Ginger might be listening to him, by the way. And then Ginger's 22. First, Hayden, Clark, Lewis left out. That's 28. Anderson, Matty, other loans, and the youth squad. Where are you getting 34? <laughs> Even Gritter's laughing, by the way. <laughs> As he's done, really, he would walk into most teams' question. If people are happy with Woods, Dean, then are living in my cash these times. I totally agree. I do not want him to leave. It's just being reported about the Daily Mail mm-hmm. saying that he could be on his way in the um in the summer. But that's not gonna happen anytime soon. I'm sorry, but excuse me. If he does score, we need someone better than him. If there's not one player in that management team with a history in football that not hired anyone. Chelsea have 154 man to last. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> I'll go through this comment quickly because I've got I'm overloaded as well. I don't be well, bro. Jimmy, I'm fine, my guy. I think he's is he Ameri- I think he's from America. I could be wrong. And this is Jimmy Owens. This, they say I'm Bruno and Trippier. Not a bad start. We're going to get more players coming through, but Quetta could be could be linked. Um, Osimhen could be linked as well. What are our chances today, folks? Darren, um, I take a point. We're coming to the game in a minute, by the way, because I'm doing a watch on at half past three. So join us for that. Don't believe the selling ASM situation either. Need to just trying to disturb a good feeling at the club. Do you know what it is, Brad? Yeah. I'm thinking about that as well, mate. Don't you think? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like I said before, it's just you think that they're just trying to disturb the exactly disturb the um the good things that are happening at the club, thinking after all the all, all the negativity and things that they can go at us for usually in the past. Now they're thinking, well, if there's nothing, yeah. we have to create we have to create something. Out the blue, so like you say, stuff like that's a perfect example. What 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 can what can we do? Well, create a story to try and get them, get them clicking mm. and talking about it, and get our Daily Mail out there, etc. So it's just per- perfect time in the day, the the morning before a game as well. So it's all um, it's all mm-hmm. nicely set up for them, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> There's a few journalists I agree with. I believe right, very very few. Henry Winter, top of the board. Yeah. George Colkin as well. Yep. Yeah. Those two guys are top of the board. Yeah. To an extent. Um, keep down in as well. Yeah. And um and a ho. And <laughs> that's how I believe. But um, Craig Hope as well, equally there as well. So yeah, yeah. Uh, and let's look at this one. Big up to you, Coffee. Hope you're your okay. kid. Macy's on holiday in Portugal. I hope she's having a fantastic time. So Nikki's gonna come on me sure. On Tuesday, half past eight or Wednesday, seven o'clock, one of the two. Um, you're forgetting Anderson, the young, young Geordie centre back. There's a lot of kids out there. Half house kids are better than our subs. And you're talking about um, Kellen Watts as well. Is he at Wigan, by the way? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I don't hope think he's been up picked. Press, yeah. No, hope to press he's still there. Yeah. No. I hope he is. And, and saw potential on Dan Byrne and Target as well. That's very, that's absolutely right. Big up to Alex again. He's, I tell you what, I'd love to get him on me sure. I really would love to get him on, on me sure because this guy, he can help yeah. us get 500 views, by the way, if he came on. <laughs> I was impressed to see Eddie Howe seem to be much more involved in the Janice sign- signings that we first thought. The orders are valued respecting Eddie Howe's opinion and input, which is great to see. That is a star comment of the day, a star comment, by the way, right? I'm not being biased, but that's a brilliant, brilliant point, right? But on to Hugo Techie, right? Again, right? So it could be back on, apparently one of the news news today, but also PSG and Bush of Dortmund are after him as well. Since um turned down Newcastle, his form has dipped. That's because he's been injured, right? But in the summer, I've got a feeling that if Mbappe goes around Madrid, I think Ekateki could be off to PSG. 
Yeah, yeah, it's certainly a potential. I think probably the ship sailed in terms of us signing him, I would imagine. Mm. So probably the chance was there in January. The offer was on the table. They didn't want um, the player and his, his representatives didn't want to go for it. So yeah, I think that probably that probably in terms of us signing him, the ship probably sailed back in January. Yeah. So yeah, I'm sure it'll end up. I'm sure, like you say, the way that they were, they were talking, he's going to leave for somewhere. So yeah, if you think yeah. PSG would be a likely option, I think he could be right, mate. I mean, the thing is as well, I don't think he wants to leave France. I really don't. I just don't think uh, he'll leave not, there yeah. because yeah. I can't say it because he's too young. The kid's only 19 years old. And I'll mm. tell you what, yeah, he don't want to come to Newcastle playing second figure because he, he plays for Rams, right? And he wants to be in the first team. Would you leave um, a club that you play in Gamty first team football and then you come to Newcastle and basically just sit on the bench? Because I don't think yeah. I could do that. Do you know what I mean? I would have waited till the summertime. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So... We just have to wait and see on that one there. Yeah, but big, um, if you did come, risk. we'll see. Yeah. Big, big risk. Um, just go back to one as well. Celtic guy, oh, of course, because he didn't have anything to do that. I and mean, Chini will be in another job before we're even looking. How is the right guy for our club? Yeah. And one of the best young managers in Europe is modern, tactically excellent coach. He yes, certainly is. And yeah. Ginger um, Hammond seemed to come out and just say he taught the process and wasn't directly involved in the transfers. Um, I never want Mancini. Um, if Miggy went to the French League, it'd be seen as the next Mbappe. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and um, five years as well. Um, where's Will Smith award his manager talk? <laughs> if I did leave, why would anyone want Mancini? That's in Callum. But listen, I mean, mm. listen, we've got Eddie Howell, by the way. And I want to yeah. Michael Edwards because yeah. he knows the league and how to make a top, top side. The fighting guys on proven. I'll give him a year. But the Nixon. Steve Nixon's still at the club, isn't he? Um, yeah. Yeah, I believe so. And, you know what I mean? And um, my choice would be um, Nagelsmann. Uh, Nagelsmann, i would tell you what, he'd be absolutely fantastic. Oh, yeah. That's the he'd be in Bayern think... for the next 10 years. Oh, God, yeah. I was going to say exactly that. I was going to say, I think he'll be the equivalent of what we're wanting here. He's going to be like that in Germany. He's just going to be that, that guy who... He's still only what he's he's not even 40 yet, is he? Or just upcoming, so he's yeah, he's going to be there for god knows how long with that. Is that exactly that he'd be brilliant? I like him, yeah. I like him. He's great, for great nine, he is a for that. No, we won top four next season. The sky's our limit of these owners. Wow, love his ambition, man. Love his ambition, but within three or four, yeah, that's all I want to be. And yeah, I got that one there, mate. And fell for it as well. I think we should aim for the best of the rest. Seventh next season. We're a good cup run. Now that will be a fantastic season. I want to talk yeah. about um, Sanchez, Roger Sanchez from Brighton. He's been linked again by the Daily Mail, right? Yeah. Newcastle are ready to offer 20 million for this guy from Brighton goalkeeper. And they quite like him. It's well documentary after a new goalkeeper. Brent Leno made a clear he don't want to come to us. He'd rather go back to Germany. And yeah. um, I said Lafont will be my dream signing, um, all black as well. But Roger Sanchez's name, Robert Sanchez's name, has been um, linked yeah. with us as well. 24 year old Spanish, um, and I've got one cap for Spain. And I think, um, would he be would he be a good keeper to come to Newcastle? Mm, Is he think, the answer, though? No, I don't, I wouldn't, no, I don't think he's the answer, in my opinion. I think. Not a bad keeper, don't get us wrong, but he's had a few mistakes in him. <laughs> he's a bit reckless at times. I've seen him from what from what I've seen. So he's you so sort don't get us wrong for a Premier League keeper. He's certainly not the mm -hmm. worst for the bunch. But um, nah. in terms of who we can go for, Dubrovka, I would have I would have Dubrovka over him anyways. But if we are we're always in the market for a keeper, who we're gonna go? Who, who we're gonna go for? I'm sure there's better options out there. I'm sure we can get, like you say, Lafont Henderson. Etc. There's there someone out there of, of higher class, especially for talking. If twenty millions, the money quoted, we could we can uh, we can get more value for money out of spending like thirty, thirty, forty. Mm. I would say. <clears throat> That's very true. But I mean, in terms of the three because I get is all black. I get um, Lafont from Nantes, yeah. and yeah, the third one it'd be a tough one to choose for as well. But we need and Maynon for Milan. Those are three yeah. keepers I take all day long. And um, I can think that he's then kind of hack house, which is training. 
That's for Marvel. We have two choices. Give ASM special treatment, like Boost gave him, or sell him. Wow. That is tough. That is tough. Um, I'd rather have him stay in, do you know what I mean? But one thing I'm going to say, he won't, be, he won't be the number one guy under Eddie Howe, like he was to Steve Boost. That's why um, ASM, if you believe the reports are saying that, he, he does with Steve Boost. But I'm sorry, we moved on from Steve Boost. He ain't good enough. If, I yeah. wasn't, if it wasn't for these owners and Eddie Howe, we have, we'd be having a different conversation. Do you know what? I'll be absolutely furious. This conversation would be totally different, people. And um, James on, on Alex again, it's like a boxing match, isn't it? Um, does anyone at this club know how to reverse club? Be honest, no chief except no commercial manager, not chief scout, no deal ref. That's why I'm saying there's no one who knows football. And Marcus O. Wood is, uh, he is, he is, he is totally shy. I'm sorry, people. Um, we take in off Lord in the fun drop the championship of Watson for the concept book and big up to 100% Mike. Um, I'm doing great as well. Big, big up to you, my guy. And then uh, let's get the uh, little jewel of deal. I take it all day long. Did you see the boxing last week, Savannah, Savannah Marshall? No, I didn't. Did you watch it? I did. Did you watch no, that knockout, yeah. man? Watch that knockout. No, I, the third yeah, I haven't seen it. I'll have, to, I'll have to watch it. Left the yeah. knockout. Wow. Mm -hmm. And to tell you what, though, Clarissa Shields, right? I tell you what, she must be shaking, man. She, she's excellent. She's an excellent fighter. But Savannah, I tell you what, she hits so flipping hard. Let's be real. I think she'll beat her. And big up to Taff Toon, by the way. Do subscribe, mate, if you can. When Eddie turns up to an elite, turns turns us, turns to an elite club, won't make him our elite manager. I think he'd be an elite manager in the years to come with Newcastle. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Ginger, you sound like me, actually. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's saying 2 1 to Celtic. Big up to you now as well. Big United fan. Lee, really, I'm a fan who sees, sees the truth. Ash is a rat bastard, excuse me, French. You mad um, fan, lowered expectation. I'm seeing there's a club needs football people to be great yet again. I want Haaland, Mbappe, Griezmann, and Messi. That's when. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> is that really wrong? <laughs> I'll be happy with just one. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> and I've yeah. got to stand in as well. Big up to you, mate. Got to be first time. Need to have we the last two subscribers to my channel, mate, if you can. And um, I we, we guy big up to you, Mark. Long time to see. I think we can get to 41 42 point mark. We have a big chance of staying up. Leeds drew yesterday and Norwich drew as well. But Brentford, Hammer Chelsea, how we the lads. I think Brentford are safe. I didn't see that was all common yesterday from Brentford. Let's be honest. Yeah. No. Gee whiz. Yeah, exactly. Very surprising. Well, I'll tell but you it what happens, don't it? Like, like I said, like I said, we, we were doing our, we were doing a predict that we're doing that prediction show the other day. I said, you know, whatever we say, there's going to be some crazy results thrown in amongst it, and that's just a perfect example in it. You'd never yeah. think that Brentford were going to go away and win that game, but four one, wow. Yeah, I would have, I would have put some bet on that as well. Four <laughs> one. I tell you what, you make some money out of that. Do you know what I mean? Just crazy. towards some money to save up, like you know, but. You know, Biggest risk to us is take over that we went out and got a load of mercenaries or massive money. Eddie will grow this team in the right way. He will. He will. He will plays for Nantes. He does. He plays for uh, Reims. If you're looking for Ren, you'd be looking at Martin Terrier or Naive or Good or, or God. Um, I, Ter Martin Terrier, I think he's a skillful player. I think he's a decent player. Didn't Ed take a sack as agent because he regretted not making the Newcastle move? I didn't know about him sacking as agent, by the way. I uh, didn't know. I really want rid of Nato Sanchez. Leave you out a lot, mate. He'd be off to AC Milan, mate, in the summer, according to reports. People forget that Eddie took time off for managing and went around Europe. He wasn't only watching how managers train. He was also looking at players as well. I'll tell you what, Eddie Howe, I'm glad he took a year out of the game because he worked so damn hard. Ekatek is not what we need. I'm sorry. He needs to be at a bigger club for us to look at him. And I'm not going to be in the next one, by the way. As it said at Old Trafford. This is our Old Trafford channel, by the way. And, um, you know, yeah. <laughs> well done, Andrew, to recreating this. Um, Lafont all day. I take him all day. I think he's a brilliant, brilliant player, him. A brilliant keeper. But he went to Fiorentina. I just think he made it wrong. Really like the John NUSC PH, but not the M MVFC. <laughs> oh, wow. <sighs> and in other news, um, our new Orleans talks to Savannah Marsh about hosting World Championship bout with Claire Shields at St. James's Park. 
That would be brilliant for the North East, Luke. Absolutely. That would be fantastic. <laughs> Thanks for picking that up, by the way. Great for Joey. Let's see how ASM responds when he isn't the biggest name in the team. I'm going for this quickly because you have your dinner. Ekteke, you're looking your age. He was free to leave and a proven striker. I tell you what, I'll take Ivan. I'll take Ivan away. Um, I'll have to take Jovic because he's got the experience as well and he's read already made. Um, we signed Pippi Abuno, etc. Good players, good signings. People clearly do know football. Absolutely. The longer the season's going on, the more I'm starting to dislike ASM. He's a big beer, but that's some Jimmy. <laughs> and there you go. Some knockout. It was some knockout, wasn't it? Wow. Check it out on YouTube, my guy. Um, they got two static is a big gooner. And um, John, can we get Calvin Phillips to his place show in the summer? Um, we did take Calvin Phillips. Um God, definitely, definitely, yeah. He's gonna come on to be transfer fee, but yeah, he's certainly a great player, breaking up play. In that defensive midfield position, there's not, there's not, there's not much um, more impressive in the league. Shame to see him, shame to see him injured, really, because it's proved what much how big an effect he had on the, that lead side mm -hmm. in terms of, uh, in terms of being that defensive unit. So yeah, yeah, hundred percent, I would have him. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I think he's a good player, England player as well, and he deserves to play England yeah. as well. Big up to him. Yeah. Can you imagine midfield Bruno, Julian, and Kessie? Kessie's off the Barca, by the way. So you can knock yes. off the list. We'll fully every midfielder in of the planet. I have to agree. Um, yeah, I watched the whole event. So amazing boxers coming in the next few years. And even now, Savannah Marshall was a beast as well. Great work by the last great by the last two down a challenge in the third round. What a knockout, by the way. One nil to Rangers, change that to two one, my guy. And uh, yeah, just so I have LaFont as a brain of the non comment, haha. <laughs> And um, I really, really want La Font. I think it'd be brilliant for us. I think he's ready to make that move. Go for his comments. Uh, I think ASM needs to take a few tips off Ginola. And um, as so Renato Sanchez, a guy who came to the pen, got bullied and went off to France. Yeah, that's the one we played for Swansea, mate, and um, just didn't hack it at all whatsoever. Has anyone told Haaland how Newcastle's close to Arsenal? It'd be nice if he's not coming. I can't wait for a super fight at St. James's Park. Kessie is a great uh, England. Bully him so we can get a bad time here as well. That's the comments as well. And um, yeah, on today's game, um, we got Spurs and um, he said one each. Did you say one each, by the way? Yeah, I, well, one each, yeah, I think. Yeah, I was going to say one each as well. I mean, they got to take a leaf out of Brentford and um, just say, look, yeah. what Brentford did to Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah, we got to look yeah. at Brentford's um, comments as well because I'll tell you something, right? I mean, the way we play good football, yeah, but we got to start well. I want to see ASM take on, um, take on um, Emerson Royale today. I want to see, oh, them yeah, 100%, 100%. Get, run it in at every that's single it. angle, yeah, and that's what you do. So, and yeah. um, just got Callum as well, got the feeling one year to Newcastle, Spurs um, are playing well at the minute under. Conte as well. I think he's put it together now. So, and um, yeah, so we're going to wrap up there, mate. So you can have your dinner and um, going to get myself my lunch. I'm going to get prepared for the watch along half past three. Yeah. So um, I've got some more comments as well. Um, <laughs> give this one, John. I'm not going for a win because I think they've got an attack. We don't have yet draw at the best. And um, I'll be happy with ones each draw, you know, each anywhere to get a point. I take a point as well. Sitting by the window, looking at the cars outside and watching John's stream while sipping a nice warm cup of coffee. It's a calming and a peaceful experience. Big up to you, mate. And Spurs are so hitty and misty. We were making Spurs here today. What are making Spurs here today? Yeah. Making Spurs here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I think so. Yeah, we'll, 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 we've, got, we've got the ability to go at them and say, Brentford done it yesterday. You, you just, if you, if you, if you can. If you can meet them, meet them toe to toe and go at them, you, these yeah. surprise results just get thrown up, don't they? And I say it, it wouldn't be as big as a surprise for us for us to go and win there. It wouldn't be as big as a surprise as the Brentford result because yeah. they know they know they know what we're capable of and they know what players we've got like ASM on the day going to cause them huge problems. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I totally agree because at the end of the day, we just got to play our football. Don't sit back, yeah. play our stuff. We've no. got good players there, and yeah. um, let's pull off trust, like Andrew. Yeah, three midfield. Trust, trust the ability. Trust the ability. 
say we've got that press, if we can get the pressing right, like we did at West Ham, look how, look how dominant we were in that game. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's it's just, if we can get that midfield right and push up when we need to, get the full-backs, get particularly target, if, we can, if he can get himself advanced up the pitch, yeah, get the ball in the box, you know, I think, think things can things can happen. Just create chances and that's what, that's what we want to see. Yeah, absolutely. And um, so I'm going for Texas Miles, the heat of ours. I hate to say it, but it's why we need a change um, sign in the summer. Um, great news coming out of Liverpool that I sell us close to a new deal. That will keep him at the club for the rest of his career. Big up to Ruby. And if you do that, Fantastic news for Liverpool fans or a round. It's John doing a watch on. John is doing a watch on this afternoon. Of course, half past three joins us for that. And 2 1 to 2 later enough from us, a 95th minute ASM winner. That'd be fantastic, will it? Sort of thing. So, guys, if you do like the video, like what you see, then please hit the like button. Then also subscribe. Also, do on the it, super chat if you want to do that. That's sort of your choice. And if you like to um, be a come member, then click on the member. Um, join button as well 99p it is and another great show thanks matty well done keep up good work join us half past three by the way people for a watch along and um one teach from mr austin do subscribe to us mate and um i'll show you back 3 30 this afternoon tell us what you think is asm done do you think you should move on or would you keep him would you take um robert sanchez from brighton for 20 million pounds and then John as well, would you take him from Fellow Out and a swap deal with um Amiron? So I'm going to do backstage in a minute, Brad. Thanks for coming on. Yeah. And I shall see you at half past three.